Greetings, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. This video is to show you a detailed description of how you configure the Unify Protect camera motion sensors to trigger external devices such as lights or any other peripheral equipment that you may choose on an on-off basis. In my particular case, I needed them to trigger a voice module uh, based upon motion that was detected around a second home I have but it can be used to trigger anything that requires a simple on off or a switching type mechanism. There's a lot of information online that discuss this or reference this. There's a whole host, much more questions about it though. Like myself, I couldn't find anything that gave details step by steps of exactly what I needed to do and what components would be involved. So I made this video after I was able to pull it all together, which gives an overview of the components that are necessary, but more particularly down in the comment section of this video, down at the, below at the reference part, you will see a link to a post I made on the Ubiquity Community Forum dealing with the Unify Protect sections that deal with various uh, uh, questions about the Unify Protect camera systems and how they work. And I posted a very detailed description on a step-by-step -step basis of exactly what components are necessary, how they're to be hooked up, and how they're to all interface together, and more particularly, what are the detailed steps that are necessary to put it all, pull it all together to make it work for you. There was no such other information I could find online, and I hope this proves very useful to you. So herein, I'm giving a overview of the components, but again, go down to the link below, look at that detailed post that I made on the Ubiquity community forum, and it'll walk you through the various detail steps. Good luck with your application, and let's get after looking at the overall components now. Okay, so this is the overall configuration of how the Unify Protect camera sensors, the motion sensors, work in triggering external devices. This is the overall schematic layout. First thing you'll need to realize is this works off of a central processing computer, a little mini computer called the Raspberry Pi, which is an interesting set of device. This happens to be a Raspberry Pi 3 that I bought and purchased and used. Uh, they make several different brands and varieties. I didn't even know these existed. They're really pretty cool. And a lot of people use them for training and for education purposes. They're, uh, they're a Linux-based uh, software system, but it comes with a little circuit board that fits into a plastic enclosure. And you'll assemble and put this together. It's very inexpensive. Again, all this is provided in the link uh, that I've shown down here, but it's also the link itself is actually provided below in the description, and you can click on that and go directly to the U Ubiquity Community Forum and see where I posted the detailed step-by-step -step guide with all of the instructions, including the components that you'll need to buy. Anyway, the Raspberry Pi uh, is the central heart or hub of this operation. Uh, and then onto that, you add a plug-in through the HomeBridge app, which sits on top of the Raspberry Pi. And there are several plugins. One for the motion sensor in particular for the uh, ubiquity cameras, such that the motion sensors will interface with all of this. That in turn interacts with the Apple Home app. I happen to be using this on my iPhone. I'm sure it'll work with an Android too as well, but I've not tried that as I'm an iPhone user. So you use the Apple Home app and then that provides the overall linkage for the motion sensors and this Shelly switch, which is the actual switch itself, which triggers the on off of any device you want. Uh, it's a Wi-Fi switch, uh, very popular. Um, there's a YouTube video of a gentleman walking in his garage and triggering the lights and he made reference to a Shelly switch. And I really wasn't familiar with that, but I was able to piece it together, go online, find this switch. It too is uh, very inexpensive. And once you have this component, you'll be able to then interface that back through the Raspberry Pi acting as a hub uh, using the Apple Home app to be able to uh, control through motions from the cameras and the camera sensors in particular, uh, you'll be able to trigger devices on and off. So it's pretty cool uh, how it all comes together. I will say that there's some clunkiness in getting it all to interface and it is there is some trickery you have to do 
for example, using the Shelly app um, to get uh, the device recognized within your system, but then you go to the Apple Home app thereafter and control it within that environment. So again, follow the detailed step-by-step -step instructions that I've provided in the link below. And again, this is the, uh, this is the overall description of the link herein. But uh, you'll find it pretty useful in bringing this all together and functional for your purpose if you're looking to have your motion sensors on your ubiquity cameras trigger particular lights or other devices. Uh, next, I'll show you kind of a quick example of how this all works, and then you can be off and running from there. So this is my little test setup that I have here at the corner of my home office desk where I have a light bulb configured to the Shelly switch and the Raspberry Pi 3 mini computer. Uh, I'll walk over there and show you these components, but up above my left shoulder here is a ubiquity camera that I have inside my home. And when I walk in front of it and it detects the motion, it should trigger the light. So let's see what happens here as we walk in to the space. There is a little latency involved, but there the light comes on, you can see. And the latency uh, is probably due to many different factors, but uh, I'll just pan up here. And you can see up there that little mini uh, ubiquity camera up there in the corner. It's a Wi-Fi camera, so it's not one of the Cat6 cameras. There it is detecting my motion again and triggering the light. And if I stand real still, it'll go back off. Uh, let's see here. Yep, yep. So if I stand real still. And what you see here on the left-hand side is the blue Shelly switch, the Shelly 1 switch that was described previously. And on the right is the uh, Ubiquity, excuse me, the... Uh, Raspberry Pi 3 mini computer, and it is connected into my home network system. So this is the Raspberry Pi mini computer right here. This is the Shelly switch right here, and this is just a test case, and I'm going to stand here and back up. Maybe I'll wave my arm. It'll come back on here. Again, there's latency involved, uh, and there's, I tell you, there's another thing there. The light comes on. It's going to go back off in just a second. There is the issue of controlling, I've noticed, the sensitivity, especially in these uh, Unify cameras, is how you set the motion sensors. Don't forget, you can control the motion sensitivity within the camera settings themselves. I have no idea how I have this particular camera set up. But it's very important that you configure the motion sensitivity as well in all of this. So there it is. Good luck with your install. And you can configure these in a, just all sorts of different ways. I will say this in the uh, switching of the um, of the Shelly switch via the home app, you can control the duration at which this would stay on. In other words, once it's sensed motion, you could control it to stay on for several minutes. Or in my case, I had it programmed it or set it to go off when motion was no longer detected. So that's the application and wish you the best of luck and hope this proves useful to you. Go to the community uh, forum that I've put down below that link and you can get the detailed description and follow it to the letter and it should prove useful for you. Good luck.